Lee covers the southwest and he's going to give us the lowdown on Star's SR38 Type B machine. This is a high spec machine behind us, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is. This is absolutely beast. So you've got your three meter bar feeder behind us and you've got your twin filter high pressure pump. So twin filter means that you can swap between the filters. So when one's running, you can clean out the dirty one onto the machine. But that helps with downtime as well, doesn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. So minimize your downtime. Onto the machine itself, as I said, it's a high spec machine. We've got a B axis in there. We've got the JBS adaptable guide bush. So this allows the customer to do materials like the plastics and aluminium because of the shape of the material. So it means that they're not having to worry about the bar jamming. Uh, we've got a lot of tools on the back. So you've got eight positions back for more complex work. There's a lot of power in the spindles. So you've got 11 kilowatts with a hydraulic clamping on the main spindle, so you don't have to worry about the bar going anywhere. And we can do up to 42 millimeters through both spindles, allowing customers to do parts. So they would probably traditionally do on a fixed head lathe. We could put it on this machine and do it a lot, lot quicker. So it's called the SR38, but you can do up to 42, but still with sliding head technology. Correct. So the 38 millimeters with a guide bush for your long parts. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to do the short parts, take the guide brush unit out and you can run up to 42 millimetres. And your HFT technology? Yeah, we've got it installed on this machine. So because the customer's working with like some of the horrible steels and plastics, HFT chip breaking software yeah. is helping them out dramatically. So what about this far end of the machine now? Because you've got your swarf conveyor down here. Yeah, so we've got it's a long part swarf conveyor. So it allows the customer to do long parts because Anything above 150 millimetres long, they'll have to eject through the subspindle. Right. So having the swarf conveyor that distance away, it means they can pass the parts through the subspindle and eject out the back of the machine. Also in the swarf bin, there's a coolant saver. So the swarf will have oil on it. So there's a suction device basically sat in the bin and sucks out any of the oil to put back into the machine. Impressive. Right, so that is all the information on the SR38 Type B machine. Make sure you're getting to, in touch with Matt there at Star GB.